Hey Collective, I'm going to do a quick clarification on the Celtic Cross regarding what your person thinks of the situation. I'm kind of getting workaholic vibes for some of you and the reading was very um, kind of purpose driven, work focused. Um, <clears throat> talking about building um so some of these partnerships or offers may be something you know regarding your finances and the thing is you know when you get involved with somebody especially if you are like getting into a marriage or something like that you know that is a legally binding contract so you know um you have to think about the consequences of things like that anyway uh, Spirit, let's clarify for this collective. Here she is, the Ace of Swords. What wanted to pop out? This was the last card that I drew at the end of the reading, if you don't know. So, you could be, I'm getting that song. And I saw her face. Yeah, I'm a believer. Is everything fine with your person? Hmm. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, somebody wants to give you some truth. <laughs> Maybe how they feel about your truth. We'll see. Clarifying the, it could be an Aquarius as well. Somebody that wants to kind of like heal with you. Um, you know, somebody who literally wants to reach for the stars, you know, with you. Um, you know, they're dipping down to fill up the water in our, in our watering here. So it's kind of like they know how to, to mother, like I was saying in the previous reading, how to nurture, okay? They understand what it means to replenish, okay? So when you're looking for somebody, when you're looking for somebody like the Two of Cups, maybe. Hello, love. Twenty twin twin. Is that what they say? Eight of Cups, again, you could have been like in some isolation mode here. Um, and had to like really kind of think about what you wanted collective, okay? Um, and maybe your person, again, was doing this as well. But now it feels like it's the right time to come together. And you're almost like, hey, hey, like, hey, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, like that. Kind of like that, like this and like that and like this and that. <laughs> What's the name of that one? I don't know them all, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, the three of wands clarify, please. So the tower. Um, I feel like somebody's realizing real fast that they need to like kind of make a move and like come towards you. Um, because the thing is, is that, you know, the, the mind forever thing doesn't last if you don't ever recognize it. And, you know, maybe this person feels like you walk on water right now or something like you're kind of like untouchable, but this is just, that's kind of, an illusion saying that the person's walking on water will know there's actually sand under here, but maybe they are like a water sign or something. Maybe you're an earth sign and maybe you're like, well, I don't know if it's going to work. And then, you know, we have all aspects of all signs in our, in our chart, um, really. So, you know, don't get too hung up on the signs. If it's like, well, I'm supposed to be with a, you know, you know, maybe you are supposed to be one of them Aquarius. I don't know. You know what I mean? So if you lean on astrology for that, um, go for it. Five of Pentacles wanted to pop out, but it's like, but if you lean too heavy on it, then you might be shutting yourself out of opportunity. And that was part of the message. Could be a King of Wands here coming towards you with the message again. So there's the fire signs for you. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, collective, you may be a fire sign. <clears throat> um, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely hurt hearing the eternal flame um, by the Bengals, you know. An eternal flame, say my name. Sun shines through the rain, a whole life so lonely. 
then come and ease the pain. Somebody sees you as their Empress Collective, right? I don't wanna lose this feeling, oh. So, yeah, look up that song. I'll try and link it on this one. So I'm gonna write that down right now. So I have my other song to link, and then hopefully these are both uploaded shortly. Now, I have a good internet connection here, so it makes it easy for me to do, easier to do uh, readings. Um, it still does take a physical uh, toll, you know, people don't realize that. Uh, Six of Cups, somebody definitely wants to reunite with you, <clears throat> and maybe this is part of, <laughs> maybe they're the one that got the message too, and it was like, Hey, um, apparently that's my person out there and I better do something about it. You know, like, like they just, like, they just got the message and it's like, oh, you know, um, yeah. So again, they're going to come towards you here. See, there's that couple love that keeps reappearing. All right. Now, because the first reading was, um, directed as a love tarot reading. Clarifying the Five of Swords, please, for the collective. Oh. Nine of Cups, Cup of Love. So if you watch the first part of the reading, you'll remember I said, um, think of the Nine of Cups as a budding relationship, like, nothing is perfect. Like nothing is going to be like at the level, you know, every single, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's going to be, there's a range. Okay. Um, but this character is almost kind of looking at this, like kind of like sad, like, you know, and it was like, I feel like for some of you collective and even your person, it could have been like, man, I gave this to the wrong person or, I presented this to somebody and they just like didn't take me seriously, thought I was a joke and like, you know, maybe that hurt your feelings collective. Again, that doesn't mean that you just have to stop and cut yourself off completely. Yes, maybe you needed to heal a little bit. Maybe you needed to go and say like, well, you know, that sucked. Okay. Now I'm over it. Now it's time to kind of forge forward. Okay, so that's what this warrior woman is saying right here. It's time. And the thing is, if you don't, the tower is going to fall regardless and its spirit's going to make you move. Okay, it's that aggressive type of energy. So your person is definitely feeling it right now. So if they do come towards you, maybe like kind of be gentle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... Um, especially if you are somebody who has gone through it, you know, um, maybe you're somebody who's, you know, experienced some things in your life and you're just like, I just don't know how I'm going to even get through this, but, but you did. Right. So that's kind of like what they're going through right now. Okay. Um, clarifying the eight of pentacles, king of swords, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, this could be you collective, but I feel like this is also somebody who's kind of weighing their options with you because of the logic of the King of Swords. So it's kind of like, well, if I go into, you know, a partnership with this person, you know, how are my pentacles going to look after that? Like, is it, are they going to deplete me or are they going to add to my abundance? So again, abundance is something that I was talking about in the reading as well previously. Like, you know, um, I'm not saying like to be greedy or anything, um, but like it's okay to have abundance and it's okay to display abundance. Okay. Uh, hmm, clarifying the Knight of Cups. Well, two count. Ooh, could be a Capricorn um, with a message for you. Okay. Again, this message came out here with the Page of Wands. So <clears throat> there's a few opportunities, I feel like, collective. Um, and 
you know, this doesn't necessarily have to be different people, but it could be different aspects of your person as well. So that's why um, knowing your chart is kind of important if you are looking at that level of depth in a reading. But otherwise, you know, you have to take what resonates and leave what does not because this is a collective reading for, you know, more than one um, person anyway. Um, so... I know it's a little ambiguous here in the end and nobody really likes to see the devil card come out. <laughs> but um, I was definitely focused on the signs here. So, um, you know, some of the folks that you could be dealing with are a Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, again, fire signs, um, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Virgo as well, Libra um Capricorn yes so yes just say yes all right I'm gonna leave it there collective I hope you enjoyed this reading please manifest wisely and we'll see you next time bye